grade 9 checklist to include in your GCSE French speaking. So in the video we're going to look at the task 1 role play, task 2 picture based task and task 3 general conversation. For speaking exams, no matter the exam board, this is always a 25% of your grade that many students struggle with, which you should not after watching this video. So let's look at role play. So you're asked questions covering one module of your eight, and you just need to answer them shortly and briefly. No detail is needed. This is definitely the easiest of the three speaking tasks. The question mark signifies that you need to ask a question about the module, and the exclamation mark shows that you are going to get a surprise question that you can't prepare for. So my first tip is to learn the different ways to ask a question. This is useful for the questions which will have a question mark on it. So there's the informal way you can say with subject verb question verb and using intonation which is just saying like instead of asking having a specific question word you're just stating the statement with intonation or using a question word and in a formal way as well. And my second tip is to be calm because this is the easiest section to gain marks due to the simple answers so don't stress it's a nice ease into the exam. Task 2 this is the photo card so for foundation tier you're provided with a picture and five bullets in the language and you're going to be asked during the assessment the questions and you can prepare for them beforehand. For higher tier you're provided with a picture card and five bullets points and you are going to be preparing for these in the 12 minute time and the final bullet point is marked with an exclamation mark that's the difference between higher and foundation so with higher you get a surprise question that you can't prepare for in the 12 minutes with foundation you won't get this so my main tip here is to learn off by heart some language for describing a photo now I've collected some really useful tables here, so I'd suggest you take note of these or print them out somehow. They're really useful. It talks about people in the photo, in the photo what there are, and positions of the photo. Finally, the general conversation. So for foundation, you speak for three to five minutes. For higher, you speak five to seven minutes. And it's about a topic from at least two modules of the eight. So one of the themes, because there are four themes. And you'll be marked out of 30. So the exam board top response checklist needs to be spontaneous so that the conversation can sound natural. You need to develop answers fully. You'll be assessed on communication, range of language, intonation, fluency and pronunciation. So I suggest you quickly take note of that. Now, spontaneously answering alongside making sure you include all the correct tenses and high level grammar is highly difficult. So here are my grade 9 tips to overcome this. Tip 1 preparing per module subtopic. So I would recommend per module highlighting 10 key questions that cover most subtopics and then answer with a two to three sentence structure with points from my grade nine 20 things to include in your writing exam video. It has a whole list of things that you should be including to get full marks. So for example for module one I've given you five questions here. Apologies for accent mistakes and you just need five more. Answer them for two to three sentences and make sure they're really high quality and that moves us on to the next tip which is learning them off by heart. So if you want to get that top grade you need to prepare and memorize top grade answers and there should be roughly 80 to two to three sentences you should be able to memorize that in your time up to your GCSEs. Tip three the importance of intonation. Intonation is the most simple technique of raising and lowering your voice dependent on the context of what you're saying that gets you extraordinary marks. Intonation is so useful why? Well firstly it tells the examiner that you're putting effort into your communication and secondly it makes it easier for the examiner to deduce what you're saying. So this is a really useful strategy and it definitely gets you those higher marks and makes you different from other people. So if you found this video helpful you know exactly what to do. Thank you for watching and see you soon.